What's up friends and cohorts? Today I'm going to show you how to index an M3 barrel. This is not something that you would need to do when you had a brand new M3, but I imagine when you changed barrel kits or calibers, you might want to index your barrel liner. So we're going to learn how to do that. And at the end of that, I'm going to show you the Tim Swan Harmonic Tuner. This came out about a year ago. And at the last EBR, a couple of guys slapped these on their guns and won their competition. So it definitely works. It's also really affordable. So Tim sent one out. I didn't have a chance to shoot the crap out of it, but I'm going to show you basically how it works, how to index your barrel before you stick it on there, and why you would want to index your barrel and what that's all about. So you can index the barrel on any gun if the barrel is, you know, removable. If it's not removable, chances are that the manufacturer indexed it at the factory before they clamped it in there. So basically every barrel is not perfectly straight. It has just the very slightest little curve to it. So all you're doing when you index your barrel is you're turning it to the point where the curve is either going straight up or straight down, but not from left to right. And the reason you do this is because let's say you're zeroed in at 50 yards, but your barrel is indexed a little bit to the left. Now when you shoot at 100 yards, instead of your ammo dropping straight down the line of your sight, which is this axis of your scope right here, it's going to be over to one side. So by indexing your barrel, you make it so at all distances, 25 yards and 100 yards, your ammo is going to just drop straight down. Okay, so you can just use your hold over and you'll be right on. If barrel indexing is just too much for you, you don't have to do it. Just put the Swan tuner on there, follow the instructions, and you'll find your best groups. But what I like about the system is that if you do index your barrel, it's like before you even put it on your gun, you're already doing better, so that's cool. And it's super simple to use too. There's nothing to it. So first of all, let's check out how you would index an M3 barrel. This goes for any of the FX barrels that have the STX liners, which are the latest ones. And as well, the MK2 and the MK3 work the same. And you get your FX Crown, probably the Maverick, and these fine guns. This is actually a super smart dude. I believe he's an engineer and actually designs stuff for manufacturers. Anyway, this is where I learned to do barrel indexing. So you slide your shroud off. It's a real tight fit. And this is a 10 millimeter wrench right there. Always be gentle. You're going to unscrew that. It takes forever. Now when you're screwing this back in, you want to just snug it up. You don't want to actually tighten it. If you tighten it too much, it will bend the barrel liner. So you just snug it up. So you see right there, he made a mark, just like I'm doing right here, at 12 o'clock position. Now after you make this mark, you're going to put everything back together and shoot it. But real quick, let me show you how you do twist the barrel when it's time to twist to the next position. You take a pair of pliers and you grip it gently, but just hard enough to make it turn, but not hard enough to bend it. And you turn it like that. He turned it to the three o'clock position right there. Okay. And now in between each position, you got to put it all back together. Put your shroud back on. Like I said, you just snug it up barely. Put it all back together, like I said. And then right here, I'll explain the process. So the first group that we're going to show here, the 12 o'clock group, you're going to shoot stock, just how your gun was. So at 25 yards, you're going to zero your scope. So just with your stock setup, before you've adjusted anything, you're going to go ahead and shoot one group at 25 yards. And that's this group right here. We're going to call that the 12 o'clock group. All right, so right now your barrel's at the 12 o'clock position. You're going to turn it to the 3 o'clock position. Now you got to take your whole thing apart again. Turn it. He turned it to the three o'clock position. Put it all back together. You're gonna turn it to the three o'clock position, and you don't know where you're gonna hit. You could hit right here. So we'll just call this three. It can be anywhere on here though. And now you're gonna turn it to. Some people just turn it to like the six o'clock position, which would be right there. And then let's say that you're gonna hit like just randomly right here. This is number six. And say that you turn it to the nine o'clock position. This would actually be 12, three, six, and nine. Okay. So let's say we turn it to the nine o'clock position and nine o'clock hit right here. Okay. Now all you do is you take the top. The top one happens to be three. It's pretty close, but this is the top one. So you take the top one and you want to turn your barrel this way a little bit. And you want to basically turn your barrel until until this three 
hits right over your original 12 mark. And now you're centered in. So you just basically shoot it and adjust it until you're hitting right here in line with your first mark. And then, then you're good. That's it. You're indexed. And like I said, you got to take everything apart and put it all back together in between each adjustment. So once you're indexed, now you're ready for a harmonic tuner. So obviously the tuner is going to make your gun look more cool as well, but that's not all it does. Here's my M3 rocking a swan tuner. Now let's get this party started. So the first thing you're going to do is take your LDC off, and then we're going to very neatly wrap some electrical tape two to three times around. I think I only ended up going about one and a half times around, and it fit really nicely. So you want to do this as neatly as possible, and you're going to do three rows. Unfortunately, I only had green electrical tape, but it still worked pretty good. All right. Now you open your Swan tuner. Get that bad boy out of the box. It came wrapped in some bubble wrap. And then slide that baby over. Mine just went on perfectly. Fits so nice. And in addition, it moved very smoothly. All right, so that's it. It actually looks pretty awesome on there. Now I'm going to screw my LDC back on. And you're ready to rock and roll. Now, how does this thing work? So you see that your notch is right up, straight up and down. That's going to be considered zero. And we're looking at it from the back. By the way, you guys, Gen 5 is going to fit a bunch of different guns. So just email Tim Swan, link in the description, or hit him up on Facebook, and he'll let you know if your gun can accept a Swan tuner. So now you got to take your tuner back off again, and you're going to shoot your first group right here with your tuner off. So that right there, you see the box around says no tuner right there. That's going to be with no tuner. Next, you're going to put your tuner back on and have it set to zero right there, straight up and down. And that's going to be your zero R. Okay? Then you just turn it a half a turn to the right. Shoot another group. You guys can see what's going on here. Another half turn. And then when you get to the end, you're actually going to have quarter turns. So I'm sure that's there's some reason for that. So you complete that card, and that's your whole right side. Okay? Now, the new tuners don't have these numbers on them, but it's real simple. It's only six on each side. So you just have to keep track or mark them yourself. And then you go and you do the left, okay? That's it. There's going to be a best group on here. And you can go ahead and confirm. And then you zero your scope back in. And now you're shooting your best groups. So that's how it works. Pretty simple, actually. You get two of these cards when you get the Swan Tuner. I would personally go down and photocopy them and make about ten of them. And, uh, you know, do it a few times, personally. I watched Tim Swan's video, and he was even shooting in the wind. But what was funny is that he did it inside at 25 yards, and then outside at 50 yards. And even with the wind blowing, out of all those groups, how many is that? 38 groups. He had the same exact result. I believe it was 0.5R. He did the best group inside the day before at 25 yards. It was like 0.5R, and outside in the wind, it ended up being 0.5R too. So definitely, definitely cool. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. I wish I had time to go out and, and do all this stuff, but I got a ton of videos to make. So for now, that's a Tim Swan tuner, and it's affordable. Definitely, we want to support these new air gun innovators and small businesses. Hit Tim up on the Facebook and grab one of these. Like I said, the Generation 5 is available for a bunch of different guns, Air Force and all the ones that you want. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Happy shooting. We'll catch you on the next one.